Hey, what's up guys? It's Erica. I'm back today with a leg workout and we're gonna do three exercises today. Two are going to be straight sets. One is going to be three triple drop sets. We're going to emphasize on strict time under tension. This is gonna be real hard. It's gonna be in real time, so follow along. Okay guys, so for the first exercise, I'm going to do goblet squats. I'm gonna be doing three hard sets. I'm gonna start with one warm up set. I'm gonna be focusing on a strict tempo with a one second negative and a one second positive without a pause at the top or the bottom. I'll show you what I mean when I get started. I'm going to allow myself two to four minute rest in between just to allow myself to catch my breath so I can put out just as much intensity for my next set. Okay, so if you noticed, my heels are elevated on a plate and that's because I do have a little bit of poor mobility in my ankles, my back. Um, so by elevating my heels, I'm able to really get deep into my squat and allow myself to have the range of motion that I need. So if you have a little bit of poor mobility, um, try elevating your heels with a small plate, just the very ends of your heels, so you don't wanna have half of your foot on the plate. That's not gonna do much for you. Um, so just have the very, very backs of your heels elevated, and I promise you'll notice a difference in your squat. All right, so I'm going into my first working set. I went from, I think, 20 pounds to 60. A Little bit of a jump. I'm gonna do my best to maintain that 1-1 tempo. If I can't, if I start to lose that, I'm gonna pause at the top, take a second to catch my breath, and then I'm going to continue that same 1-1 tempo until I'm finished my set. And I'm aiming for 15 to 20 reps, again. That was a lot harder. Still didn't need to take that pause. We'll definitely need to for my next set. It was good. So again, I'm gonna rest two to three minutes before I move in to my next set and then continue with my next set. <laughs> I had to pause at the top, see the last five reps, clearly. It's hard. Uh, I still have one more working set to go. Probably gonna stick with this weight. So I'm gonna rest for three minutes. <laughs> That's it. And the reason that that's it is because I felt my form breaking down pretty hard and I knew that the next rep is not going to be pretty. So I cut it at 15. That's still in my 15 to 20 range. Um, but my next rep would not have been nice. Moving on to our second exercise, we're going to do machine for minion deadlifts. A lot of you guys are watching, but you are not subscribed, so do your girl a favor and hit the subscribe button and hit that post notification button too. So the next time I'm in a video, you'll be the first ones to get it. And hopefully by now, you guys like the video. So if you do, hit the like button. My glutes and my hamstrings are already primed from the goblet squats. So I'm going to start with a plate. Pretty sure I can handle that. I'm gonna aim for 15 to 20 reps, like I did with my previous exercise, keeping that one, one tempo. If I can't get the 15 to 20, same thing. I'm gonna pause, catch my breath, and then keep going until I reach my reps. That was harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I'm still going to increase the weight because I was able to get 20 reps in. But I'm only going to increase it by a small increment. I'm going to put it up about 10 pounds on each side. Um, that's going to make it harder, but still keep me in my desired rep range, 15, 20 reps. So there's no 10s. So I guess we're adding 15s. Hit, 
All right, going into my third and final working set. The last one was pretty hard, um, so I'm gonna stick with the same weight. Some cues to follow when you are setting up for your Romanian deadlifts is once you pick up the bar, allow the bar to naturally depress your shoulders, engaging your lats, and situate your feet so they are hip width apart or a little outside of hip width apart, gripping the floor with your toes. From here, you're going to hinge your hips backwards. As I'm hinging, I'm keeping my spine neutral and allowing my gaze to fall in between my feet. And then coming back up, looking forward. By keeping my gaze between my feet when I hinge, it's going to naturally allow me to hinge backwards and come back up. Hey guys, all the exercises I'm doing are in the Push Pull Legs ebook, so get yourself a copy with the link in the description below. Okay, moving on to my third and final exercise, I'm gonna do leg extensions. I'm doing two triple drop sets here. I've already done seven hard sets throughout my workout, so that's why I'm only doing two drop sets here. Drop the weight again and aim for another 15 to 20 reps. Uh, as you can see, this machine doesn't have a back. So because of that, I'm going to be focused a lot more on keeping my core engaged, keeping my shoulders depressed. And from here, with my toes pointed up, I'm going to extend and come down. And right from the beginning, when you feel pressure on your shin, you should feel it in your thigh. And I do. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I am exhausted. If you gave this workout a try, let me know in the comment section below. And I wanted to thank everybody for the positive feedback on my previous video. I wanted to thank you for bringing me back and I will see you guys next time.